Hi gang, Daryl Davis here talking to you about designing a life worth smiling about. And in this video I'd like to just mention or speak, speak specifically about having exceptional expectation. You know, there's a story about these two children. One was pessimistic, one was optimistic. And so the scientists wanted to have a little study here, so they took the, optimistic the pessimistic child, stuck him in a room full of these wonderful toys. The pessimistic, the optimistic child, sorry, I'll, I'll get it right eventually. The optimistic child, they put him in a room full of horse manure. The doctors were a little sadistic with this child. Anyway, after about an hour, they go into the room of the pessimistic child with all the toys, and the child's sitting there complaining. Oh, this toy is too big, and this toy is too small, and I don't understand this toy. After the doctor said, get me out of here, this child is making me depressed. Now they go into the room with the op optimistic child, and he's diving into the horse manure, he's digging away, he's manure hitting the walls, and hitting the doctors in the face. And the doctor said, child, why are you so excited? And the optimistic child said, well, with all this horse manure here, there just has to be a pony under there somewhere. <laughs> Children. But here's the point. This child had an exceptional expectation. He just knew that he knew that there was going to be a pony under that horse manure. And I think for some of us, you know, we're, we've gotten older on in our lives, we start to look at the results that we've produced, and we might have had some bad breaks, we might have made some bad choices, and we start to lose hope. We start to think that all that there is right now, no matter what we do, it's not going to make any difference. That this, we kind of settled in that this is our life. I would like to challenge you to start to take on having some exceptional expectation, to expect that the things that you do today are going to absolutely, without question, produce the positive results in your life. Think of your life as a farmer and the actions that you take. You know, when a farmer plants seeds to have a crop, he doesn't plant the seeds and say, oh, I hope this is going to bear some kind of crop. A farmer plants the seeds knowing that he knows that he absolutely is going to produce a crop. As a matter of fact, the actions after he's planted the seeds and while he's waiting for the fertilizer to work and the water to work and the sun to work and to do what it does, this farmer knows that he knows that it's going to produce the crops and while this is happening, he's going into his shed and he's fine-tuning his, his tools, he's sharpening them, making sure the engines are working. His actions are consistent with knowing that he is absolutely going to produce results in a harvest in his life. Well, I like us to think, to have this exceptional expectation, to know that we know, not hope, not pray, but know that the actions that we take today are the seeds, just like a farmer planting. That the, every action you take is planting a seed to produce a wonderful harvest in your life. Have that same exceptional expectation in your life. And, and in doing so, you should be smiling because you just know that you know. And you're going to be grateful for the wonderful results you're going to produce in your life. So, go plant your seeds. Have exceptional expectation. Keep smiling. I'll talk to you soon.